have a winner, Timo Rajabo. He won the match yesterday and he's won two games today. So that means you're secured that third place. Congratulations, Timor. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Thank you. A very quick day for you here today, beating such a strong player as Maxim Vashielagrab in two straight games. How were you able to do that? Well, I think in the second, I don't know what exactly happened. I think that he was like really frustrated or maybe tired after the first one. But uh, it was completely drawish. I mean, I was ready to offer a draw or just uh, end in a draw. But he just took the rook on g5, as you have seen there, and uh, just went into the opponent game. I don't know exactly what happened. You have to ask Maxim, probably. But uh, yeah, that was not due to me, of course. It was completely drawish position. So he, he would have chances as a, you know, playing with the uh, next one with black, let's say neutralizing it, and then playing with white. So I was very, very surprised. Rook takes g5 just came in one second or something. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happened exactly to him, but I think it's like uh, it's it's an exhaustion, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm also exhausted, but uh, still, I am able to control my nerves more or less. Yeah, but that was too much. Rook takes g5 is just uh, yeah. I mean, it's an epic blunder. Let's be fair on the highest level. It's <laughs> you don't see every day. Yeah. yeah. Any tip for anyone at home uh, wondering why to uh, why this is a mistake or how to avoid these types of mistakes, Timo? Well, I mean, the point is that um, there is a king's opposition simply with the king f4 instead of rook g5 or anything like that, or king f3, h3, or whatever you want, king h4 maybe, even is the draw probably, but not necessary, but king h4 is probably also the same. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked, by the way, I mean, by this, by, by this kind of uh, turn of events, because I was prepared to kind of having a hard day defending, uh, defending his black. But I think also today's the first game. I think he's just completely exhausted, I guess, because the first game he just uh, uh, missed the pawn in, in like 10 moves or something. I mean, certainly he still still was uh, kind of, of course, uh, putting a lot of resistance, as all the top players do. But uh, let's be fair, after missing just the pawn after like 10 moves, you're probably in, in completely different shape, in completely different mood. So, um, but I was, I was prepared for a very long day because, I mean... Uh, I would think that I will have the white, the white color, where I would certainly go for a draw, uh, like Wesley did against me, and uh, I would try to keep the last game as black uh, against Maxim, which would be a hard task because it's always hard against Maxim as black. And um, yeah, this is uh, this is kind of shocking. The end. But uh, I said I said already today to the to the team of Chess Twenty Four, I, I really think that this uh, this match for the third place is completely unnecessary because it's <laughs> totally overshadowed by the finals. Mm. And whoever plays there, it doesn't matter. Of course, if Carlson plays there, it's certainly it's uh, even a, even a harder harder um, thing for the guys who are fighting for the third place. But uh, even without Carlson, certainly finals is kind of thing that is overshadowing any any kind of play for the third place. Especially uh, we're not in the World Cup, not World FIFA Cup, you know, that we're getting the bronze medal or something. So um, yeah. Also in my case, I guess it doesn't matter if I'm getting the third place because uh, you're already qualified I, for tour yeah, final, I'm right? Qualified, so I don't think that I should <laughs> count. Yeah, but I was really uh, kind of shocked by the turn of events at the end. I didn't expect it, but I think that Maxim probably just gave it away as he was like super tired. Hmm. But well, that was unexpected because he really fights till the very, very end usually. So uh, I was expecting the very close fight till the very, very end. Yeah. Well, eventually, um, or finally, uh, team, where we do see the third game between Wesley and Magnus has started. You played Wesley in the semi-final. Um, what will it take for Magnus to beat Wesley so here? He seems in such a good place. Will be very hard because I mean he's like really not uh, making a lot of mistakes. That's the that's the thing with Wesley. I mean he's like very very um, uh, how to say very very solid player, mm -hmm. and um, he knows where to put pieces on the right squares. He's like positionally very well educated, and um, he's not having this uh, kind of you know very uh, artistic play or something like that that he tries to 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 show all the time. So he just puts the pieces on the good squares, more or less, and then he says, look, okay, I mean, he has his ideas, of course, as all the top players do, like slight, slight kind of things in the openings. But for Magnus, it's a very, very hard task to beat such a solid player like mm -hmm. uh, like Wesley. And um, that will be a very unpleasant situation for Magnus if he doesn't win today, I mean, this match, because the last one he lost mm -hmm. on his birthday. And I don't know when, when is the Wesley's birthday, probably he's planning something. On <laughs> That's true. So I guess maybe there is some tricky plan for Magnus. But uh, that's really 
hard. I mean, beating Wesley as even as white is is a very hard task. I mean, I, I managed to do this in a classical part in uh, in uh, Azerbaijan against USA. Uh, I really played one of my best games, maybe positional games ever. But um, you know, this doesn't happen every day. That's the that's the problem with Wesley. I mean, he's like super solid. So uh, Carlson will will really have to perform on his. Uh, I mean, on the top of his abilities to, to, to win against Wesley because he's one of those top players that is very, very hard to beat. Mm. And, um, yeah, that's that's really problematic. So I guess the, this game will end in a draw. Uh, Wesley, Wesley's playing as white, is it? Or, yeah. And the next one uh, will be a hard task for Wesley to keep, but also a hard task for Magnus to, to, to win. But I expect Carlsen to put a very, very high pressure in the last game. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks for your insight, Timur, and congratulations again on a great performance. We look forward to seeing you in the next tournament. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be part of this tournament. Thank you so much. I'm really exhausted. Uh, thanks for this match for the third place as well. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm like, I'm kind of working since like January, I mean, December 31st, January 1. Yeah. So uh, it feels like I'm always there online and playing. I, I, I you know, from time to time, I'm just afraid not to switch off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm also having my private life, so that's that's kind of a very unusual feeling. I'm yeah. like always playing. That's uh, that's amazing. Well, but anyway, I, I have to, to tell you, Timo, we are super happy to see you all the time and so happy to see you be playing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll Thank you. All right. Thank bye, Timo. Great evening. Bye-bye. Thanks.